a dog needs cared for. So managers reach out and said, hey, is somebody doing this or can we go get them? Um, but that was just a voicemail. Um, when I spoke to Shanann's mom this morning, she told me that she told the FBI to call us to get them. So I'm not sure really. Um, what somewhere. Trailer, somewhere yeah. they got our name to say, hey, come. The family's trusting you, I guess, to care for their dog. Um, aside from the dog, you didn't just let the dog into your house. You let Chris into your house, too. Yeah. After the fact of everything happened, um, you have a little girl that's Bella and Celeste's age. In hindsight, what's going through your mind? That... Regret. Regret? I mean, that's something I'll never forget, that we we allowed this guy in our house. I mean, had we... Had we had any inclination that we we thought he was involved at all, no way would I have let him in my house with my wife and kid. Um, so she slept right across the hall from her. Right. I mean, she came in that morning and, and was was like, I, I saw Mr. Chris. Uh, you know, because I mean, their doors are right by each other. Um, um, and so that I feel, I just, I'm never gonna for. It's just a haunting memory now at this point. Like. No way did we know <laughs> he he could have been capable of something like this. I mean, on the phone, Amanda, you told me repeatedly, or you told me that you were kept replaying the conversation from the past few days over and over in your head. Mm -hmm. Why are you Why are you doing that? Honestly, just I mean, <laughs> I'm just beating myself up about it, like oh, he said this or he said that, like I should have, I should have known that that was a flag, but it or just... Or was it a flag? Or, or was it a flag? Like yeah. questioning just every little thing that we did with him. Um, yeah. What were those conversations, if you don't mind me asking, what were some of the things you, you know, you are questioning of? Was that a sign? Or... Um, well, there's a few things that we talk to the detective about. We're not sure if it's a part of the investigation, so that's... We don't want to get too specific. Yeah, we don't want to get into that. Um, but, I mean, just little things here and there, like watching, watching him on his phone and pacing the house and eating the pizza, even. <laughs> like, I just... He showed zero remorse. Like, there was no doubt in our minds that he was innocent. Yeah. yeah, that's awful. Yeah, I mean, you know, while we were with Chris on Monday and, and Tuesday, it was more on Tuesday, though. Um, I mean, our, our conversations were kind of far in between. Like, it was a lot more of silence. Um, Amanda and I on our phones just trying to come up with any sort of idea of, like, um, what about this? What about, you know what I mean? Just trying to think through everything. And through those just little things, you know, a few things came up that we thought, well, that's weird that you're not wanting to look more into that. Like, that seems like big deals. And as soon as we left the house, we called the detective. Uh, and we're just like, we don't know if this is something, it might be something, but we feel like we need to say something. Um, I mean, again, it was a voicemail. I didn't, we didn't talk to anybody. Um, so, I mean. I did that, speak to the FBI about it. Yeah, when did, he yeah. interviewed me yeah, too, so just to make sure they they were aware. Yep, same here. Something that's come up for me. I don't know if it's come up for you. Do you have a hard time trusting people right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've talked about that uh, yeah. quite a bit. Um, just you kind of lose lose faith in humanity, like not wanting to, really just not wanting to be close to anybody. Um, has been really hard. Um, I mean, we thought 